Hey guys, Shinitsu here, and remember in the last video when I said I ordered some manga? Well, I got them, so I'm going to show you what I got. First, we have Black Butler, volume, uh, can't read Roman numerals, 11. And then next up, I got Torador, volume 5. Love Torador. <laughs> For a second there, I actually forgot her name. Uh -huh. uh, that's called making a video, you guys. Taiga. That's what happens when you make videos. You forget the most simplest of things. Next is We Were There, volume 15. Oh, I've been waiting for this. And the next volume is the last one, which I'm really sad about. And then finally, Vampire Night, volume 15. Strangely enough, both this one and this one are volume 15. I'm going to put these on the shelf, and I would just like to point out the shelf is almost completely full. We're going to take these two manga and complete the shoujo speed section. It will be completely full once these two mangas are put in. There. You see, I could like squeeze one more in, but then they're impossible to get out. So the shoujo beat section is completely full, and of course, you know, it's double layered. This one is my most least complete. It has the most space for manga. Right now, Lord of the Rings is taking it. But Lord of the Rings is gonna live on my bookshelf, not my manga shelf. So I have based off FMA in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Zombie Powder stuff it. Eight manga I can go here and Zombie Powder Volume 4 I have. I just haven't put it on here. So that would be around seven more. And this section is almost full. I have room. One, two, three, four, five. Five more over here before this section is full. And I don't think I'm gonna put five, I'm gonna put four because I jam-packed these bleach manga in and they are so hard to get out. I don't think I'm gonna put that many in this layer. And then this one is completely full with Dorara. I could fix and fit another one, but like I said, they become impossible to get out. And then this one is completely full. You can't fit any more in this one, which is bad for Black Butler, so I'm going to have to do something about that because Black Butler needs to go there. And then we have the manga one, which is also almost full. My manga section, uh, manga, I said manga again, didn't I? My anime section, which is al almost full. So my shelf should be full by Christmas. And I'm quite proud, I must say. I only have these two areas to fill up. And then it will be completely full. Once it does get completely full, I'm going to do my yearly manga collection thing, shelf update thing. And you will get to see all my manga in the completed full shelf. So I think that'll be pretty awesome if I do say so myself. So I figured I should at least show myself in this video <coughs> at least once. And this is all you're going to see me because I'm going to show some things that's more interesting than me. First of all, if you hear the heater, it is on because it is cold outside. 41 degrees. That's cold in my book. Okay, so I sketched this one really quick yesterday. And it's the guy character. Akumi's guy she's going to get together with, to be exact. And I thought I added this little curl at the top of his head, and I thought that was a really cute thing to add. This next drawing I'm going to show you, her eyes look weird to me. So before you comment and say, the eyes look weird, I already know they look weird. Most of the times, the things people comment about my drawings, I already know. Just gonna save you the trouble of having to tell me. Here she is. Originally, I was trying to know about Vampire Night OC, but she looks way too young to be on Vampire Night OC. I guess she doesn't look terrible, and I added these pink marks to show that it was cold, and I thought that was a cute touch. I guess her eyes don't look too weird. I already know it's probably this part right here. Next up is a picture you guys have already seen from the last video. It's a picture of Akumi, and I think this is the best drawing I've ever done of her. She is so cute, and there's Korean that says Akumi. And she just looks so perfect and wonderful so that's all for this video before it gets too long hope you guys are having a good life and i'll be back with another video very soon bye